Felix, you, you mean Felix? Yeah, yeah Felix. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, and, Felix. And I heard it was over. That's crazy. Like over some, over some, no, carton of cigarettes is what I, was it 50 cent? Yeah, I ain't for sure. But, but it's crazy, but he was about to come out and they end up reversing the charges and giving his family his houses and stuff back too. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's crazy to me. That's rare for the government to do that. That's rare, but they <laughs> did it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But you're not a naturally flashy person because even now that you are living a legal life, nobody's seeing you walking around with big chains and <laughs> flashy clothes. But I taught myself that. You know, I like jewelry too. I like, <laughs> you know, I, like <laughs> <laughs> I know if the girl see you with that big old chain on, she gonna like you. <laughs> you, pull up, you know, you pull up in the Bentley, she gonna, she gonna be, love it, right. ain't no question. You know, the Ferrari, they gonna, they gonna like all that. But I also know that there's other things that come with those things, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I don't want all those, you know? I like to be able to walk down the street and people not recognize me. Sometimes they do recognize me, and when they do, you know, I acknowledge that, but at the same time, I get the freedom to 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 be looser than, you know, you would if you, you know, was wearing a $50,000 chain. I want to ask you something, man. Matter of fact, little Tommy the one started. I wearing them big chains. <laughs> <laughs> he started that. <laughs> I got to ask you about being locked up for 20 years, right? When you was locked up, a lot of people, some people didn't make it out, right? Some people died while yeah, you was in, in there. Yeah, I know. Some, whether it was just died or health reasons or, or got stabbed or whatever the case may be, but you was able to make it out. So how much did you think about that when you was in there? All the time, you know, uh, I wanted to be home for my mom, you know. Yeah who was probably my biggest supporter ever. And uh, one of my fears was to, to have her die or get sick while I was in prison. Uh, lucky for me, I, she didn't, you know, she, she died right. in my bedroom, Yeah, yeah. you know? So uh, that was definitely a fear, you know, that's why I changed my, my way of eating. Yeah. Started watching what I ate and worked out and um, just try to preserve myself. And still right now, you know, I'm still trying to preserve myself. Of course. How many I'm, of your friends actually passed away in prison? I only had maybe two two guys that I knew that that, okh okay. that actually passed away in prison. Okay. Really, I asked you that because Frank Mitchell, when he was about to get out, fourteen days, I think it was before he was able was going to be released, they killed him. Felix, you, you mean Felix? Yeah, yeah Felix. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, and, Felix. And I heard it was over. That's crazy. Over, over some, over some, no, carton of cigarettes is what I was. It fifty cent? Yeah, I ain't for sure, but but it's crazy. But he was about to come out, and they end up reversing the charges and giving his family his houses and stuff back too. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's crazy to me. That's rare for the government to that's do that. That's rare, but they <laughs> did it. You know what I'm saying? According yeah. to the documentary I was watching, I was like, damn, that's yeah. crazy. But when it's almost time for you to get out. Don't y'all be like, uh, to me, again, I see our <laughs> movies all the time. Don't y'all be like on your P's and Q's, be like, if somebody try to argue with you or any any altercations Not come everybody. up, and you just like back off because Not you know. Because don't they be trying to test you, like trying to keep you in there? Oh, they will. I mean, you know, it's according to where you at too. You know, like it was, I, I, I remember a guy got killed. He only had a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, he went in the TV room and turned the TV off the soap operas, and the guy told him, if you turn that TV again, I'm going to kill you. And he did it again. The guy See, hit him in the head with a mop ringer, and, and he never got off the floor. See, I wouldn't do it again because uh, I know I'm almost time for me to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would I do it again? Well, you probably would go in your cell and just stay in your cell. Just stay in my cell. <laughs> just, just let me, just two weeks, I'll See, stay I right stayed here. in the law library, and, you know, most of the time in the law library, we don't have no incidents. I, I, the incidents that I almost got into was on the basketball court. You know, Out there with Pop Jones. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. But Pop couldn't keep up with me. No, he couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> he shoot that jump shot, though. He, yeah, he talked about it. No, he set up. He shoot that jump shot. Pop would shoot that jump shot. But, um, you know, and, and you know, you foul somebody hard. Or then they get upset with you. in the you. mouth with an elbow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they already upset anyway, so. Well, you know, yeah, you don't know what people going through. Going in through, That's yeah. why you have to be, you know, you have to carry it a certain way while you're in there. Cause you, and then you don't know who you're dealing with. Yeah, you no, know? you don't know what type of person. It could be a mass murderer. I think, remember the paperwork party. You know, they, mm. they, you both know who you're dealing with if the paperwork party going right. But uh, we don't know what that is. I hear a lot of people say, oh, yeah, the paperwork party, we don't know exactly what you did when you come in here. 
But you don't know what these niggas done did. You ain't watching them like that. Yeah, they start. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. See, <laughs> I, I didn't participate in none. I, you know, like I said, when I went in there, uh, my goal was. Somebody told me you can get your education at Penn State or the State Penn. Wow. So I wasn't going to Penn State, so I was going to go and get mine <laughs> while I was State there. Penn. <laughs> <laughs> but once you were in there, you started reading. Because I know before you, you couldn't read. Um, what genre of knowledge did I know the law? But which one was the no, first the law thing? Was, the law was like my job. Your job, but yeah, which, what, 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 what I, I section did business. you first jump into? Was it business? Yeah, well, the first book I ever read was Malcolm X's autobiography. Mm. And when I, when I read Malcolm's book, I saw a plan. You know, I never had a plan other than, than you know, dope had become right. my plan. Well, you know, tennis was my plan at one time, and then mm -hmm. dope yeah. became my plan. And, well, before dope, stealing cars was a plan. You know, I thought that yeah, was a that plan. That was going to do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 when I read Malcolm X's book I saw another plan. Wow. You know, I said, "Damn. Malcolm started speaking and and uh he studied, he got smart." And then with mine, I said, "Well, you know what? Uh I don't want to be no preacher. So, won't you learn how to make money and teach everybody else how to make money?" Mm -hmm. So that became my plan, and that's wow. my plan right now today. That's how I got into boxing, you know, cuz I want to show these young guys how to which how dope. to make money. Right. And uh, we're really... So you uh, can go into any field, Yeah, it don't make no difference what field. Because I, that's why I do so many things. Boxing, weed, clothes. Because all of everything. it is making everything. money. Everything. Movies. Right. Your whole moving brand. Ba ba uh, brand ambassador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? So it don't matter what it is. And then, and then, you know, when you put that type of energy into it, uh, uh, um, things just happen. You know? And now... I mean, it's it's really it's really getting crazy because I'm starting to get a certain type of quality. When I first come home, right, I, I say I was getting all the bad news bears. You know, yeah, I start yeah, off with the yeah. bad news bears. They, and they, yeah, yeah. They couldn't catch, couldn't kick, couldn't <laughs> punt, couldn't throw. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have no gloves. They <laughs> <laughs> they on the field with no helmets no on. No helmets on. But now I'm starting to get a, a quality of people that. You know, I'm, I'm like, wow, y'all gonna give me this? Wow. You know, this is like when when I met Danilo Blandon. Y'all gonna give me him? Man. With these prices and with this quality. That's crazy. So so uh man, I, I see some 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 ginormous things happening for myself and the people around me in the near future. You know the funny thing Go is, ahead. um, when you prayed when you was younger, I say God made me smart enough just because you just want to make a lot of money. Did you pray this made me smart enough that I can make a lot of money tomorrow? Or you, just, you just said, let me be smart enough to make a lot of well, money. I wanted it that same night. <laughs> <laughs> but did you say it? But did you say it in your prayer when you said it? What I meant it. I don't know if I said it or not, but that's what I wanted. The, so the he reason, was reading my mind. The reason why, <laughs> because you're, you are smart enough and you're making money right now. So it's just that you just didn't tell him exactly when back then. So now you're getting it now. You might be right. <laughs> I, I ain't going to argue that point. <laughs> I, mean, I wanted it right then. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.